everyone this is a dolly dress up video and the reason why I thought I would do one is because I have this really cute doll here uh, this is a pull up doll and she has an adorable little sailor outfit I purchased this which is a blithe dress which would probably also fit a pull up by the way just be very short obviously and I thought it would be really cute to dress up one of my blithe dolls and have her hang out um, with this pull up doll with similar outfits in particular, this is a um, Monique Magnifique doll, and she tends to be um, a doll that I kind of fall in and out of love with. Sometimes I adore her, sometimes I think of selling her. <laughs> so um, usually when I take some time and change her clothes and stuff, then I uh, fall in love with her all over again. Oh, and this doll is Merle, by the way. This is Merle, a pull-up doll, which I have a couple videos showing her on my YouTube channel already. But anywho, so we're going to set Merle over here, and this outfit that uh, she has on right now is a dress that I really like. I got it from um, CC Toys. But I thought she would make a cute little sailor girl, so let's see how this works. I'm going to leave her hair like this for now. I think it's in a ponytail, but I'm going to go ahead and see. Hopefully there should not be issues with this dress. Oh, by the way, obviously, as you can tell, there's going to be some dolly nudity. There's her shoes here. So this is the dress she was in. This dress has Velcro, so I have to be careful. Don't need to get her stockings messed up with the Velcro. Let me flip this over here so it's not hanging around. Oh, this is cute. Probably not fit on the new body, that's for sure. Okay, I'm back. So we got the dress on her. Like I said, it looks really good, but it fits pretty tight back here. Oh, get that little curl right there, girl. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to take her hair out, but we'll leave it up for now so it's out of the way. Um, I have some stockings here, red stockings, and I think I'm going to leave her white hose on. Because I do plan to kind of keep her in this outfit for a little while. And we'll see if this is going to work. Too many layers. I don't know. Let's see how that one looks. Like. Hmm? That could be cute.
are always good. Oops. Hugs me with the tongue so it's straight. Before I do anything with her hair, I have actually, this girl has a, um, an extra bow that is really, really big that I don't like to use on her, so I'm going to probably put it on this one with my other beak, and I'm going to change her eyes. So I've got green, green, no, I don't like the pink, side blue. Side blue might work because I'm probably going to put her like next to her in my china cabinet. So the side blue might be an option. Or the front blue. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the side blue for now. Alright, and uh, let's see. Next I will do her hair and we will have this girl ready to go soon. is the bow that came with Meryl and you can see it's just like it's just so big for her head and she has really pretty hair and a sweet face so I don't want to cover up that pretty face up so I have a little ponytail holder I'm just gonna cut it off just a little rubber band I'll probably use that stick. Yes, this girl has quite the hair.
trying to kind of go in a little bit. Our hair, because it's been pulled back in a ponytail, is kind of um, showing her ears. So I might just go with that. So we need to do this all over again practically when I get her in the curio. together. 